Oh, I think we have time for one more question, and I want to make sure you have enough time to get to your uh, next sure. question, please. As you were speaking, and especially just now in your summary again, um, you mentioned that this um, indigenous attitude that, or, or framework that, that you're suggesting um, is, is typical of, of islanders, right? I would like to remind you, however, that most of the motifs that, that you are talking about actually have been um, artistically expressed, um, have been uh, intellectually expressed, have been in expressed in poetry and painting artistically uh, during the period of German Romanticism. You know, and this is, uh, it, it's, it's this, this the whole notion of the humility of the, the individual in front of nature, the, uh, the, the smallness of ourselves. We have these famous pictures of the mountain sure. that Caspar David Friedrich painted, right. you know. Uh, the man is subjugated to nature, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm sure you're aware of mm -hmm. that. I'm not trying to lecture you or anything, but um, so in what way do you see your, your tradition now in 2017 mm -hmm. right. sort of um, repeat a, a tradition, you know, or, or, or a framework or way of thinking about man and nature? Do you see yourself as a, as a sort of like a, a continuation in that tradition, you know, to where you are aware that this is not specifically limited to islanders, but right. it's a way right. of thinking sure. about life. Sure. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry if I get the impression that, you know, islanders and the ways of knowing are superior. Uh, what I'm saying is that I think it's so easy to lose it, mm -hmm. because I know I've lost quite a bit. You know, having moved away from Rutuma to Fiji and England and coming to Hawaii and I've stayed here for the past 30 years, I, have, I feel I've lost a lot of the connections that I had with the land. You know, I live on the 25th floor of a tower in Kaka'ako, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, because my wife loves living there and it's wonderful to live there. It's very convenient, you know, as you get older, you want a you know, lifestyle that doesn't require you to travel so far and set things are nearby. But I'm very aware of what I'm losing, and so what I said really comes from that. That it's more myself talking to myself, right? You know, don't forget who you are or where you came from, because it's so easy to do that, and that's really what I'm saying. But of course, you know, I, the, the, have, if you had to deal with the land and the ocean and know that your survival depends on, on it, which goes way back thousands of years ago, regardless of where you were, right? But when you have technology and then you have other resources and other means of survival and you have chicken that comes in the supermarket, you forget that the ch chicken was once alive and running around and people used to kill it very differently. And when you see it in a movie, you're just horrified. Oh, that's a chicken? Yeah. Uh, you look at the coconut trees at Waikiki with no coconut. Think of the millions and millions of tourists who come to Honolulu, stay in Waikiki for a week, they look around, surrounded by these coconut trees that have no coconuts. They're going around believing that coconut trees have no coconuts. <laughs> that thing that sustained our life in the Pacific. So when I came to Honolulu and I looked and saw no coconuts, I wept because I felt a violence had been done symbolically, not just to the trees, but to this land and to this place. So I, let me finish with a short kind of uh, poem that I wrote as the beginning of an academic paper where I continue to challenge the way we write academic papers and its formulaic nature. So I wrote a paper called representat Representations of Cultural Identities in the Pacific. And it begins like this. Like eunuchs, they grace the shoreline of the Waikiki beach. Coconut trees without coconuts. Symbols of lost identities. Exotic images as the backdrop for semi-naked tourists lounging on the beach. 
Thank you so much. <laughs>